In the last postcard we sent you, we had finally made it into the ICW, but things weren't going so well. Our transmission had failed us on a very windy day in a narrow canal right before a bridge. After a few exciting hours, we had stabilized the situation and had been able to tow Bagheera back to Great Bridge, Virginia, where we would try to get our propulsion back. the diagnostic well the catastrophic failure was my fault not having replaced the net that should have been replaced i guess <laughs> um what do you mean and it seems like well this is like the flange that sits on the back of the transmission yeah and then there's the shaft that has another flange that kind of sits into there yeah and basically just just popped out okay because so the transmission's fine it's just this to fall off and the problem is that as that was done um these teeth got worn out so now there's a lot of play so if we had to we could keep moving like this but it's probably better not to and we're probably better off ordering a new flange which i don't know how much it's gonna cost or how long it's gonna take to get here we'll see okay. that tomorrow i guess yeah but at least the transmission's not fucked. This is a lot cheaper than a transmission. <laughs> yeah. And we're That's in a safe right. place. And we're in a safe place. And it's not warm, but it is sunny. Yes, for now. And we're having pancakes. So doom and gloom. Could be it worse. Could be worse. A lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> that I have is, is toast. The shaft has some wear on it. I'm wondering what I can do. I mean, the shaft, I'm sure, is worth a big time money, too. That, that output shaft, uh, even if we could get it, okay, might be pretty costly, and then you got to take the whole tranny apart to get that part swapped as well. But that's uh, where okay. thinking maybe a used transmission we might have laying around might solve the whole problem. Okay. Then you can. Awesome. You I won't it. take any more of your time. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Cheers. That good news we thought we had yesterday is no longer good news. It is now back to Ooh. that transmission. Mm. <laughs> well, we have made it to the marina after largely overstaying our welcome to the free dock, which is a 24 hour dock. I think we stayed there like five nights. <laughs> We're plugged into shore power and splurged and got a heater because it is a toasty five degrees and the research continues for options for the transmission fix basically we have a flange outer flange i think it's called that's dead and um and it goes on this shaft which is also very worn um so the option is to replace the flange and which new costs like 500 bucks and put it back and call it a day and sail away but the issue with that would be the flange just to be getting damaged because it's on a shaft that's worn we've looked at getting the shaft also replaced but that means rebuilding the transmission completely which is a big job but i guess a more sure fix uh, means time and money We've looked at buying used transmissions, 
um, also costly and we don't really know what the overall state of the transmission is. We don't have a history on it. We've looked at buying completely new transmissions, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be compatible with our engine. Yeah. Or now we're hopefully maybe going to find a used coupling and at that point we put a little bit less money in um, to a piece that could potentially get worn soon. Hopefully we get some more answers and make a decision today so that we can start moving forward <laughs> and get out of this cold. We decided to go with the used flange that we found for only $50. It was cheap because it also had some wear on it, but we figured it would get us moving and also be a good test to see how much the worn shaft would cause damage to a new flange, though that meant we'd have to go with a more permanent solution down the road. We got our part. It's not much better than the one that we have now, but it was cheap and let's see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully we can get to Florida with this. We have propulsion! We are! <laughs> North Landing Bridge great redoubtable beast our paths meet once again as we attempt to cross your perilous waters you might have conquered us the first time but now we shall prevail Colors. <laughs> well, this is a great. We had planned to get to um, an anchorage that's well protected from the north yesterday for a big north wind gale today and uh, we didn't really like the look of the anchorage so we found another one a little bit further south but we didn't have enough daylight to get to it um, 
and we had like a four or five hour window this morning to get to it before the gale comes and we didn't anticipate fog. So here we are, a little bit forced to move and uh, Tom's primed the air horn just in case. I'm scared. Oh, it's just wind. We're fine. While we wait, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright How's it going? Beautiful day you're sailing. <laughs> oh, we got warmth and wind. I guess we couldn't ask for nice weather as well. Yeah, at least not cold. The trifecta of warmth, wind, and nice weather seems to be impossible in, in the North Atlantic. We will find it yet. One of these years. <laughs> Meanwhile, the crew inside, how are we doing? Tell me all, boo boo. No, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> we were eyeing a good multi-day weather window ahead for another ocean passage. And to make the best of it, we were trying to get through the Outer Banks to Moorhead City, where we'd be able to take an inlet out to the ocean. So, rain or shine, we were trying to make some miles. Before I sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right we have decided to be very chic tonight. <laughs> well deserved feast after a very wet sail. Mm. <laughs> 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 the biggest Delicious. chunk of tuna ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are finally not alone. The only crazy people this far north. No longer. Past the outer banks, sort of. We'd made it 
to Moorhead City, the inlet where Bagheera would once again take on the ocean. We're so glad to be able to share our journey with these postcards. It's been a joy making them for you all. Feel free to show us some love if you've been enjoying them, share them with some friends who would enjoy being part of the ride, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to be on the mailing list for the next postcards. See you soon!